Do male and female cricketers use different power hitting techniques? This is a brief summary of our study in Journal of Sports Sciences. The article is open access and free for all to read. Movement solutions are influenced by factors relating to the individual, their environment and the task itself. So how do these differ between male and female power hitting? Differences may include body size, strength, boundary size, bat and ball characteristics, incoming ball speed or fielder characteristics. Coaching and training experience may also differ due to funding, professional status and perceived or real differences in these constraints. Our aim was to assess the effect of these constraints on the power hitting techniques used by skilled male and female batters. We chose to control for the effects of height and body mass, but observe the combined effect of all other differences. Based on factors previously linked to bat speed in male batters, we hypothesized differences in pelvis thorax separation at the top of the backswing, lead elbow extension during the downswing, and wrist uncocking during the downswing. We tested 15 male and 15 female players, ranging from university academy to senior internationals. We asked all players to hit the ball back over a bowling machine, attempting to clear the boundary as they would in a match. Male batters achieved greater bat speeds, ball launch speeds, and ball carry distances than female batters. Male batters exhibited greater pelvis thorax separation angles in the transverse plane at the top of the backswing. Male batters extended their lead elbow during the downswing more than female batters. Eight female batters, but no male batters, flexed their lead elbow during the downswing. There was no difference in wrist uncocking. Male batters extended their lead elbow by 30 degrees on average. Female batters flexed theirs by 3 degrees. This resembles previous male-female differences in experienced, but not professional, golfers. Some female batters possibly used more of a checked drive rather than a specific power hitting solution. Differences are likely a result of the individual, environmental and task constraints for male and female batters, as well as their specific training experience and coaching histories. Possible causes and implications are discussed in the open access article. The link to the full article and other relevant resources will be in the description below. Or to keep watching, you can view my full video lecture on the biomechanics of cricket batting.